video for the Mevo tutorial. The Mevo camera is what we use to stream our services on Facebook Live. Uh, the camera lives uh, in the sound booth and what we'll do is we'll take that to the Mevo Boost. This is the Boost. Um, this is the sound card that gets sound from the soundboard and into the camera. Uh, the blue cable is the internet. Uh, it has to be hardwired, otherwise it doesn't stream very well. In the back here, you'll see um, three connections, one for the internet, one for the sound card, the USB there, and then below that is a charging uh, for the boost. Once you've connected everything, um, the reason it's not connected is because it will kill the power um, to the boost and to the camera if it's left overnight. Uh, so Sunday morning is uh, when you plug things in and after church is when you unplug things to save the battery. To turn the uh, camera on itself, push down. Once we are uh, all green here, um, we're good to open up the Mevo app on either the iPad or the iPhone to begin the streaming of the service and uh, editing, uh, live editing of uh, the service as well. So at this point, we will jump over to the Mevo app and uh, show you how those things work. So we'll launch the Mevo app either on uh, the iPad or the iPhone and our connect screen uh, should come up in the bottom left. Be sure to, to know that you have to be on the West Ridge Wi-Fi uh, on your phone or device as well as for the camera itself. So we'll tap the connect button and begin the process of connecting the phone to the, the camera. So once the camera and the phone are connected, we'll have our main display here, and we can adjust uh, where the camera focuses and the size of the picture uh, with a pinch of two fingers. Move it around to whatever uh, place you want, and in the top right, you'll see the camera focus in uh, as fast or as slow as you desire. Another feature that's very convenient is you can designate sections of the camera uh, by holding down your finger and a yellow box popping up and you can do it in several locations and that way you can go back and forth and the camera will automatically jump to those spots without having to move the blue screen itself. If you notice down at the bottom right, there are two options there, There's six buttons, you press that. This gives you the population that you have designated. Uh, this will also, uh, uh, whenever there are people on stage and the face finder is selected, that's, uh, these boxes will then be populated with people and then you can select uh, each one uh, whenever it's relevant. So to get rid of the yellow boxes, um, just press uh, and hold and they'll blow up and then disappear. And do that for all of those and then that will clean out all your yellow boxes. So at the bottom right you'll see the three dots. This is our preferences and options. This will lead you to um, our library here of what's on the camera currently. And it will show you that if it was saved on our uh, Facebook Live uh, account as well. Also, there's a Find Faces, Live Follow, Autopilot. Uh, Find Faces is uh, the default and is uh, more than adequate. The next is uh, Filters. Uh, we typically don't use these, but they are um, available to us if we need them. Okay, so the other option we have here in our preferences is the Audio Mixer. Uh, Mevo is the default. However, we use the USB Audio. 
Uh, this gives us a clean uh, sound uh, for our streaming and for our recording as well. So make sure the USB is connected and then selected in the audio mixer. Um, and you have to do this every time uh, manually. It is not a default setting that you can set. So when we're ready to record and Facebook Live, we'll hit the red button there at the bottom of the left. And all of these options will pop up and we'll select Facebook Live. And once we do that, uh, all of these pages will come up that um, we're associated with. Uh, Westridge Christian Church is the page we want to select. Um, if it's on your personal one, it will go to your personal one. Um, but uh, make sure that Westridge uh, Christian Church is selected. It'll have a, a white ring around it. And when you're ready, type in when service will start. And then you will uh, hit go live. And we'll see the record button um, swirling, uh, connecting to the internet. And once that is uh, connected, you can see there that we are streaming uh, live on Facebook. Once uh, we are done with the service, tap the, the red button again, and this will bring up uh, a slide to the right. Here, we'll, uh, typically, we'll keep it in the feed and we'll save it to the, the, the SD card. And that concludes our tutorial on the Mevo.